Today we're going to take a look at the Tricorder SAO. There's a link down here to the GitHub which gives you more instructions, uh, demonstrations, that sort of thing. And there's a QR code which will take you to the same link if you uh, don't want to type that all out. So let's take a look at what's inside the bag and how this works. All right, so first we have our Tricorder SAO. Uh, yours may or may not be purple. Uh, there's going to be a few different versions of this, and I'm trying to record this one video, which will cover all of them. Uh, you may have the full color SEO um, if it gets here in time, but if not, you'll have one of these purple ones. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, we also have a Hacker Summer Camp sticker, a DEF CON 32 Engage sticker, Make a Hacken sticker, another DC32 sticker, some googly eyes, and a lanyard. Now, you may or may not have these stickers. If you get them from somewhere, if you get this from somewhere else besides DEF CON, you probably won't have these stickers. Um, but if you get it at DEF CON, you'll have these stickers. All right, so let's put the stickers away and take a look at everything else. Okay, so there's actually gonna be two kinds of the SEOs. They should look identical from the front. Again, you know, it might be purple or full color, uh, depending on the timeline. But on the back, they're going to be slightly different. Um, now, it's basically the same sort of thing going on, uh, but one's going to be battery powered and one's going to be meant to be an SAO, which gets plugged onto a badge. Um, the main difference besides how it gets powered is there are some LEDs that are not on the battery version that are present on the SAO version. And um, that is because the battery doesn't have too much power. Um, you know, these are just meant to have a little bit of power and there are already a bunch of LEDs on here. And unfortunately, after some testing, um, there's not enough power from this battery to make all of the LEDs on, but you'll see all of the ones from the front, you'll see all of those on the battery. So uh, first I'm gonna show you how to insert the battery uh, if it doesn't come already inserted. Um, so you'll take the battery and you're gonna place it in here where the right side is under these little clips, you can see two little notches right there that prevents it from coming back out. So you're gonna place it down, right side down first, and make sure you have the plus side facing up, and you're gonna press down like that until it snaps, and now it should be held in there. If you wanna take it out, try not to force it out too hard. You wanna just get a fingernail under there and slightly lift it up, okay? Um, if you pull really hard, you could, um, you know, break these little clips on here and then the battery may not stay in anymore. So um, so on the battery version, uh, as well as the SAO version, there's an on and off switch right here. So if we turn it on, we can see the SAO light up and it has um, some light sequences, uh, just, you know, sort of inspired from the one from the show. Um, so you have your alpha, beta, gamma, delta, um, LEDs tracking there as well as the ones here and um, your uh, screen LEDs lighting up here. Um, this one only three of the LEDs are lighting up. Uh, the prototype uh, had something wrong with it. You should have all four lighting up um, but yeah and you have your power LEDs up here. Again the ones that are up here are meant to be side emitting and those are not populated on the battery version but um, I still love how this looks and the form factor. Um, you will also be getting a lanyard that comes with this. And what this is meant to do is, um, there's a couple different ways to think about it. If you have the battery version, um, you can think about it as kind of being like a wrist, a wrist strap. Um, and this lanyard is kind of difficult to get in to this hole, but you have to kind of like pinch it at the bottom and kind of squeeze it in there like that. Once you get it through, you would then put the rest of it through. Okay. And then you pull it like so. Okay. So now you can wear this around your wrist to kind of, you know, keep it from falling off or whatever. Um, or you can attach it to whatever you want. Um, I was thinking it would be cool to try and make this thing look like a necklace where there were some holes up here, but I didn't really have any room for holes to make it look like a necklace. And I don't 
think it would have looked nice to have more holes already than there already are. Um, so for right now, uh, we have the wrist strap and maybe in the future I might make a, some sort of attachment where you can like wear this around your neck. But if you have any ideas, you know, of how to do that, um, without damaging the circuit on the back, uh, feel free to do so. All right, now let's take a look at the other version. So I'm going to turn this off. The other version is, you know, basically the same, except for the way the power and the LEDs. Um, now this one is meant for the people at DEF CON, and this is a badge simulator that I have. Um, so there's a way to put SAOs onto different badges, and the official DEF CON badge this year will have an SAO port. And on the badge, there's gonna be this notch at the top that lines up with the notch on the SAO, and you plug them in like so. You might have to kind of like press hard down like that to get it on there. And this SAO will only use the power from the badge. It doesn't have any other sort of breakouts for the other pins. It just uses the power. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this on. Uh, the switch was already on. By the way, there is an on and off switch. Um, that switch was already on, which is why I came off, um, or why I came on. If it was off, you know, you can use the switch to turn it on or off if you wanted to. Um, so this is basically the same as you saw on the battery version. We have the same blinky lights, um, except on this one, uh, since we're able to draw power from the battery, um, we're able to support some more LEDs up here. So um, one of my favorite is the uh, scanning LEDs at the top. So that's inspired from, you know, the regular tricorders with this, like the little scanning LEDs. Um, on the side, we have a couple blue flashing LEDs right there that you can see from the side. And on this side, we have one flashing LED and one always on red LED. So um, that's how the uh, one works for the DEF CON badge. And if you have any questions or comments, um, you can comment down below. We'll try to answer them. Um, again, it's gonna come with a lanyard. Now, the lanyard for the DEF CON badge, you know, it's, it has the hole, so it get put on the same way. The lanyard for the DEF CON badge um, is, functions as uh, something that would hold it onto the badge. So just in case, you know, your SEO were to become loose, which hopefully it shouldn't, it's on there pretty good. Um, but you could wrap this somewhere around the badge so that if it were to fall off, um, it wouldn't fall on the floor. It would sort of catch somewhere on the badge. So you could use this to tie on the badge somewhere or put it over something. We don't know what the badge looks like yet. So not really sure what the best way to, to do that would be, but, um, that is the tricorder SAO for DEF CON 32. Hopefully I get the full color versions before DEF CON. If not, I'll have these purple ones. And after DEF CON, I'll still have the purple ones. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll see you at DEF CON.